Hi class. Okay, in this video we're going to talk about making a couple green screen hacks inside of iMovie. And how could we move this guinea pig to be maybe smaller or to the bottom of our iMovie? Well, my trick is to use a tool called Keynote or to use something like PowerPoint. So I'm going to hop on over into my Keynote. Let's just start fresh. I'll go with File, New. And I'm going to choose a theme. Um, up here on the top right, I'm going to go with wide because that's how the layout would be for a movie. And I'm going to just choose a basic white presentation. Just click add a slide and go with a blank slide because I don't need text on top of my slide. So here is my white slide. And so my trick is to use the colors to make a green screen here in Keynote or in PowerPoint. So here on the right hand side, I already have the slide selected the button format inside of Keynote. And then down here, I can see that there's a color fill for my slide. So what I wanna do is click the color wheel and choose a nice green color. I like to go with a bright green um, so that I can use this in my green screen. So that's my hack. Okay, and I'm gonna drag the guinea pig into uh, the green slide. And my guinea pig is taking up the entire slide. What I want is for my guinea pig in the field of carrots, to actually be down here in the bottom of the field of carrots instead of the middle. So basically you can resize and move the guinea pig wherever you want. So I want the guinea pig to be smaller. I made the video smaller, I'm moving the guinea pig down here. And then um, I might go ahead and make some changes really quick here. Um, and that is I'm going to add, because I can see that, that I'm already going to have this shape right here, which I could adjust inside of our our green screen but I can also use some shapes to hide things so like I could grab this rectangle and I could cover up the shape and change the color of that to be the exact same green so format style I think that's the same green definitely not the same green so let me select the color wheel and I think that was the green okay so basically I'm creating shapes to hide parts of this video that I don't want to be in my film. So I'm gonna copy this, Command C, Command V. I'm gonna move it over here to the other side. And um, now I'm ready to export or save this video to see if I can make my guinea pig look smaller in the video. So I'm kind of cheating since iMovie won't let me resize it. So I'm gonna head over to File, Export To. Export To a movie. And Let's see, I'm only going to export slide two because right now the first slide is thought bubble. The second one is my guinea pig. And um, these little bits are not important right now. And the 720 is the resolution. I think it's fine. If you want higher quality, of course, you can go up. So I'm going to click the next button. Uh, small guinea pig. It is now going to save my video as a movie. All right, it looks like it's ready to go. So back to my iMovie. Going to click on the Finder. And under the desktop, I should see now that my video has been created. So I'm going to go to Small Guinea Pig, and I'm going to drag this movie to my presentation. There we go. And onto the field of carrots, OK? Now again, remember that it's it's automatically in a cutaway view. So I have to go back up to that icon and I'm gonna switch from cutaway to green screen, green blue. And here I'm seeing that um, my guinea pig is smaller, which is great, but I'm seeing like this little shadow over my movie. Um, and so this is where in the cleanup that eraser is going to be super beneficial. We can erase this color right here so I'm going to use the eraser, click, drag. Ooh, actually, I just had to click once and it got rid of that whole kind of hue that I had. I'm going to go back to the crop. And then when I bring my playhead back over here, you can see that, I'm going to hit the space bar. You can see that now our guinea pig is small and at the bottom of the film. So have a lot of fun with your iMovie. And if there's something that you want to change, maybe consider using Keynote or uh, maybe PowerPoint in order to change the position of 
your creature or maybe even to add some things like thought bubbles on top of your video using that green screen effect.